pretty good. Alright guys, well we're pretty far in the 1J build I would think. And uh, we bought this whiteboard before we even pulled the SR. And we haven't checked one thing. What, you say it was right out of focus? It was again. Oh. Alright, so we're going to uh, go through this and uh, check off what's what's been done. Alright, pull SR20. I think we got there. So we? Yeah, so we can. Let's just cross it. Strip interior. I think we did pretty good on that one. <laughs> Remove sealer. I think we did that. Remove subframe slash paint. I think they're back in. ISR control arms, we got them. Don't have the hydro, don't have the dual caliper, don't have the trans, doesn't have the 1J or the column adapter. Shave the bay, done. Drive shaft, no. Seat slash brackets, no. Wiring harness, no. Knuckles and control arms, we did. Big ass wing, we're not there yet. Relocate fuse box, we cut that shit out. <laughs> Origin body kit, not there yet, but we got, we got a little bit, so we'll just give it a squiggle. 18 inch <laughs> wheels, coming soon. Over fenders, we got. HKS exhaust, I have, but I'm getting a new one, so we're not going to count that. St stitch weld, did the whole damn thing. Fix rust, we cut it out. Rotors, no. Engine, no. Ready rear diffuser. We're actually making one, so we're going to give that a little front mount intercooler, no. Wideband, no. AEM ECU injectors, downpipe test. Like, there's definitely a lot more things that need to be on that list. But All right, so like I said, the chassis of this car is built now, so everything I buy, we kind of just make a video and bolt it on. That's what was the plan for this car, was to build the chassis, paint it, get everything prepped, and then kind of just end up buying parts and piecing it together. All right, so we want to say thanks to everyone that joined the Garage Highways team. I think we got like 24 members. Uh, we definitely have a pretty good amount of Miatas, 240s. We actually have an R32, and we have like one or two show cars as well. Show cars are definitely welcome. Pretty much any car is welcome. Just like I said, hit me up in the messages on Instagram, email me, whatever you got to do, and uh, we'll talk about it. And the overall plan for the team was basically as a group, when we start traveling with these two cars, going to states and drift events and stuff like that, we want to be able to basically be able to hit up team members and be like, yo, we're going to be at this event. Well, after the event, we want to hit up the streets, you know, show us the street spots. That's like the overall plan. So that's what we're going to rely on you guys for, to show us all the six street spots when we're traveling the states. But for today, we're working on Zach's car and my car. Pretty simple day. He's got to cut out his inner over fenders. And I got to cut out mine. You guys saw me a while back cut out mine and weld them up. But with the stance we kind of want, it's not going to work. It's going to rub and cut our tires. So I'm going to be trimming mine a little bit higher and pretty much the same thing with his car. So let's just get into it. All right, so the first thing me and Zach got to do today is we just got to get both our over fenders off because we're both going to be cutting them out a little bit more for the wheels that we're going to be running because we don't want like any rubbing issues. So now we got to cut it out and as you guys remember I bent this up and welded before just for so it was like structurally just you know a little bit stronger than just being open but like I said eventually these cars are going to go cage so I'm not too worried about it I don't think it's going to take away much from the chassis and I'd rather have the tire clearance than a little bit of extra support so and I've seen a ton of people do it so what we're going to do we're going to basically keep this the same this the same just go up probably straight and then all the way across in this line, down, and then straight, and then down. So it's kind of going to be like a weird rectangle. And then I'm also going to cut out a little bit of the inner, inner fender too, so it's like kind of flat all the way around. You'll see when I finish. Put on the helmet. Huh? Put on the helmet. <laughs> you guys are always yelling at me for safety glasses, so there we go. There we go, that's some clearance right there. And then I'll just take the hammer and tap that up a little bit. Right in your car. Huh? <laughs> cool. That's what I wanted though, so I've trimmed this up a little bit and everything. Do the same thing for the other side, except for this won't be here, it'll just be a straight cut. Yeah, mad fitment. 
All right, so I cut it out. That's pretty much what it looks like. I'm gonna like clean it up just a little bit and it needs to be painted. So I'm gonna do that and I'm also gonna bend this up a little bit with a hammer just so if the tire like compresses a lot, the suspension doesn't slice my tire open. And then also I did the other side, but this side is just a straight square because there's no gas cap. Don't forget the new slaps are on the website. The link is in the description. Pick them up. By the way, it says Garage Sideways. All right, so let's go check out Zach's car now. Hope I got a helmet head like crazy from wearing that damn helmet. Zach's got to put it on now. It's the shit though, like it, and I'm bleeding. I didn't even know. I guess I cut myself. With what? I don't know. The helmet's not that safe. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how I cut myself. All right, Zach, put on the helmet. Why it really it fucking cut Why me. Why is the helmet wet? Might have been sweating a little bit. It was a little hot in there. Ew. It was a little foggy in there. All right, so yeah, you can see what Zach needs to cut out. <laughs> he looked crazy with the helmet on. What? It's just funny looking. So he's just got to cut all that out, and then he'll have a bunch of clean. All right, so Zach's just laying down some clear coat on there just to keep it from rusting. I got to do the same thing on mine. Pretty simple. You just don't want nothing to rust out. And as you guys can see, when I stitch weld my inside, in there, those are the little spot welds from the inside, and that's pretty much bare metal now. Even though this car is never really gonna see rain again, still wanna paint it just because you don't want rust. You put so much work into this. So I went ahead and paint prepped it with uh, the paint cleaner, and then now I'm just gonna clear coat all this and uh, pretty much get it ready to be put back together. All right, so before Zach heads out of here, we're gonna put in all my rear stuff besides the camera arms because they are on back order. So we can't do that, sadly. Wish we could. This really should be pretty easy. We're just gonna have to put the control arm in first and then hook up the arms. Actually, no, we gotta put this in first. The arms gotta go in. Not gonna do control arms? I'm gonna put in the top ones. Yeah, the arms just gotta go in first. I mean, the control arms gotta go in first and then the traction in tow. All right guys, so pretty excited. Um, the rear end is back together. Zach's heading out now, he's got work. It sucks, but that's how it always works for us. Um, coils are in, rear control arms are in. Now I just gotta put on my ISR traction and uh, toes. Be sure to definitely check out Resume Motorsports. Their link is, has been in the description since almost day one. Use Garage Sideways for 10% off any products. Seriously, they're awesome. I love Resi Motorsports. Like, if you're watching this right now, guys, like I know you are, you guys are seriously the coolest. Always helping me out with fast shipping and everything. But here's our eyes, our pro arms. Actually, really good quality. We just gotta throw these in. We're gonna throw the uh, the traction rods in first, which are the shorter ones. And like I said, the camera arms are just on back order. All right, so just so you guys know, the pro arm kit comes with these uh, longer, metal bushing things, and I guess these are for S13. I have no clue, they're too short, it would wiggle around in there. So they give you this. All you gotta do is stick your finger in one of these holes. There you go. So you just gotta wiggle it out, and then they're in this little rubber seal. So go ahead and just push it forward. It'll pop right out, and then your new one, pretty much the same thing. Make sure it's greased, which it comes with grease, and then just slide the rubber seal back over. There you go, it's all good. Just make sure it's on there. And now, just put that down, try to get your other one out. There you go, pops out. Take your rubber, push it through the rubber. Give it a good twist, make sure it's on there. And then take your new one. And there you go, make sure it's back in there. And there you go, that's how you put your new things in the uh, ISR Pro arms. So now we just gotta put this on the other side because this side is completely done. All right guys, we are all finished up. Front ends together from yesterday. The rear end is now together. All I said that we are waiting for is my camber arms there on back order. Um, the last thing we gotta do for the day, oh, tripping over that clearance issues. <laughs> Anyways, the last thing we gotta do for today is put my over fenders back on and they need to be trimmed up a little bit. All right, so yeah, like I said, it just gets a little bit of stress cracks that I just don't wanna deal with. But as you guys can see, I mean, 
Looks good in there, got the arms all together. Now, all we have to do is put the over fenders back on the car, which is pretty, pretty easy. And then this is the part that needs to be sanded down, just like right here, just all needs to be trimmed up. And uh, it'll fit just perfect. All right guys, so that is it for today's video. I got it all dialed in. I did like all the body lines all the way around and got it like spot on. So I'm super proud. We're gonna end the video there because I gotta go inside and edit this video because I'm trying to make a video again tomorrow just to keep letting you guys know that you can join the Garage Sideways Drift Team. Just check out the link in the description and also message me on Instagram to get all the details. So yeah, we definitely already have a lot of people on the team and let me just explain it one more time. The main point of having the team to help you guys feel connected on the channel and actually a part of it because that's what we want. To start a worldwide drift team with people all over just did love and enjoy street drifting just like us and also so when we start traveling the states to go to drift events we can hit up you guys the team members to show us this dope ass street spots so we can make vids together that's pretty much like the ultimate goal so i hope you understand if you don't just go ahead and shoot me a message that's all i got to say today guys so i hope you enjoyed this video and we will catch you next time we will be back again tomorrow for another daily vlog peace